Hey there, Blaze here, and I uh, figured I would just do this video because it's been a little while. Um, so, I've played two games recently, and both games were freaking incredible. Um, obviously, uh, e everyone knows about Undertale. Okay, so Undertale was... It just sucked me in. It sucked me in with its story. I wanted to know what was going to happen. Um, it had likable characters everywhere. You just wanted to explore the damn thing. Um, and it, yeah, it was inc an incredible experience. Then there was Evo Land 2. Now, I, I didn't know what to expect from Evo Land 2 because I didn't play Evo Land 1. But oh my god, it is. Um, Alright, first off the bat, uh, yeah sure, there's different graphical styles. In Evo Land 2, this is directly linked to the past and the future. Yeah, so, it's, uh, you go back into the, the, way back into the past and you have, like, the grid-style Game Boy. And then you go forward and it's sort of like, uh, you know, Game Boy Color, and then you go forward still and you're in like Super Nintendo land and then go forward again and you're in a full 3D environment. So there's like, I guess, four time time stages. And um, you go around and you do stuff and you, I don't know, it was, it was an epic, it was an epic story. It took me something like 24 hours to finish. Now I'm, I'm the kind of person that I tried my hardest to sort of do every little thing but obviously I missed some stuff, um, and I ended up just going, alright, I'll just finish it, and I was on 83%. It is a collectathon, but it's got action and puzzles, a huge variety um, of different bits of gameplay. Um, I, was, I was going to write a list for this, but I'll see what I can uh, just remember off the top of my head. You play a top-down Zelda-like... Uh, Thing where you're moving up, down, left, right, you swing a sword. Um, Alright, so you got that. Uh, they also have... There's a bit of a spoiler, I guess, all this stuff, but um, they've got top-down Zelda, they've got side-scrolling you know, Metroid, I guess, side-scrolling Castlevania, you know, same sort of thing, but um, there was sort of... it felt different in the 2D versus the 3D. Um, they have... they had Bomberman, um, <laughs> Yep, they threw that in there. Uh, they do have DDR. Um, you know, it, it looks a bit like, uh, you know, Rock Band or something, but it's totally DDR because it's left down upright, it's not notes. Um, there's, there's more, I know it. There was a Final Fantasy, then there was sort of like a Final Fantasy Tactics. I know there's another Tactics game which it looks more like, but it was a grid game and you move dudes around and some of them have range, some of them are melee. Oh, they have different movement and health. Um, they had a flying vertical shoot 'em up, they had a flying side on shoot 'em up. So, you know, Raiden versus Gradius. Gladius? Gradius? Um, and then they had their own little, um, their own little weird, you're in like a massive time warped world where it was just a, a huge, uh, switching between views puzzle, um, game, and it also had, you activate a thing and it, it was sort of like Braid, that style of time travel, paradoxical time travel puzzles. It was just chock full of different types of frickin' gameplay. If if you want a taste of gaming history, um, Evo Land 2 uh, was was incredible. I you know, ten out of ten, can't rate it higher. Um, I really enjoyed it. The puzzles all felt somewhat clever. Um, I have I haven't felt like ah. Oh, Buddy, you know, oh, so that's how I do it. I haven't felt like that in the game. Um, a few bits where I was a little bit like, hmm, what's going on? Um, there was a bit where you actually have to use past, present, future, certain things are locked and unlocked. Um, 
you know you're like, I think you're in a forest, there's mushrooms, you press down on a red mushrooms and blue mushrooms come up, but then you go into the future and you can't knock down the mushrooms anymore. They're stuck there, so you have to do it in the past and then go to the future, but in the past certain things are attacking you and in the future they're not. Whew. Yeah, it was um yeah, an incredible experience. It does have backtracking, but I enjoyed every moment of it. It was an incredible game, highly recommend it. And of course Overwatch has come out, so um good timing. I finished it before Overwatch came down, so uh yeah, it looks like uh, that's going to be my spare time in the future. Haha. <laughs> anyway, so that's the games I've been playing. Holy crap. You should uh, you should try Undertale. Clocked about eight hours into that. Finished it. But not completely. Um, I'm not going to spoil that one because spoilers are all it has, I guess. Um, yeah, and uh, Evo Land 2 just... That just came right out of nowhere. I expected the graphics. I did not expect the gameplay. Um, and Overwatch is pretty great. <laughs> but you probably already know that because they have the advertising budget to back them up. So, um, yeah. Go out, play some games. Good stuff. See you next time.